hello dear students welcome to mathematics online classes in this class we are going to study the new chapter that is application of integrals first of all i will tell you what is the major application of integrals here the the concept we are going to study i am going to tell you now see we know how to find out the area of a circle using the formula we can find its area as pi into r square where r is the radius of the circle suppose a rectangle is given with the sides x and y then we know its area area is equal to length into breadth that is x into y very simple suppose simple curves are given like this we can find its area instead of that suppose a zigzag curve is given to us zigzag in the sense shape can be anything any shape is given to us suppose a curve is given like this and they asked you to find out area bounded by the curve from the point x is equal to a to x is equal to b if they asked you to find out this whole area then how to find out this area that area can be found out very easily just by using integrals so that is the application of integral that application we are going to study now under the heading application of integrals in this application of integrals first heading we are going to take is area under simple curves area under simple curves we are going to study area under simple curves see area under simple curves in the sense a circle will be given to us what is the area bounded by the circle a parabola will be given to us only one area under simple curves in the sense only one curve will be there that can be parabola that can be ellipse hyperbola whatever it is circle and uh, any line it is so that will be given to us we need to find out what is the area bounded by that curve such a simple thing we are going to do here and uh, most importantly one thing i want to tell you here only one single concept is there here with that single concept whole chapter runs that single concept is area under simple curves that one i am going to say now see in a two dimensional plane with x axis and a y axis suppose there is a curve y is equal to f of x like this suppose there is a curve y is equal to f of x how to find out the area bounded by the curve x axis and in between the lines x is equal to a and x is equal to b what is its area you see what we do here we will divide this area into so many small 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 parts like this n number of parts we will do like this we will divide and then suppose there is a point here suppose there is a point here this will be like x comma y what is x and what is y here x is the perpendicular distance from the y axis this distance it will be and what about the y y will be the perpendicular distance from the x axis so now you consider one rectangle here you will consider one rectangle here see rectangle it is very small one very small one it can be taken as a rectangle and let us take width of that small rectangle is dx x1 x2 x3 like that it will be uh, dx in the sense very small length here that is dx and the height will be y that will be fixed here now what about that area of the rectangle there area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth where y is the length here and the breadth is a dx area of that small rectangle is a y into 
dx and then now coming to that small rectangle we can find out what about this whole area whole area is nothing but integrating under the curve y is equal to f of x from the line x is equal to a to x is equal to b that's all area under the curve is equal to area under the curve y is equal to f of x that is a is equal to integrating from a to b here y is there you know y into dx this is the single concept with this single concept itself whole chapter runs here there is no extra concept at all simple chapter it is very simple chapter see dx is there when to consider dx when to consider dy i am going to say here what we are doing here we are dividing it into so many small 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 parts how many parts are there means n number of small small parts are there here and here you see these are the strips we used to say strips vertical strips i am considering as vertical strips are there with respect to the x axis in the sense this is dx and curve here curve will be written as y is equal to f of x see suppose there is a curve like x plus y is equal to 2 then curve will be taken as y is equal to 2 minus x means y is equal to f of x y is equal to uh, function in terms of uh, x alone like that it will be taken and then area under the curve a is equal to integrating from a to b y into dx dx in the sense uh, in this formula i am telling you in this formula i am telling you what are the variables are there a is area under the curve and y into dx y is under which curve we are finding under which curve we are finding the area bounded y that will be taken as y is equal to a function in terms of a x and what is dx dx in the sense vertical strips with respect to the x axis vertical strips we are considered what is the vertical strips and horizontal strips in the next concept means while explaining while taking this area in another one way with respect to the horizontal strips i will tell you these are the vertical strips dx in the sense very small area, uh, very small part it is we are integrating with respect to x what is that a and b a i told you in case of definite integrals that is the lower limit of the integral b is a upper limit of the integral okay here it means that area is starting from the line x is equal to a and area is ending at the line x is equal to b x is equal to a means it is a line it is a line parallel to the y axis it is a line parallel to y axis and passing through the point a comma zero equations of lines which is covered in straight lines chapter first few straight lines chapter that concept we are using here line which is parallel to y axis and passing through some point k comma zero that will be x is equal to k here it is passing through the point a comma zero means uh, this line is x is equal to a okay and uh, now here x is equal to b means uh, this line is parallel to the y axis parallel to the y axis or perpendicular to the x axis both we can say parallel to the y axis and passing through the point uh, b comma zero its line equation will be written as uh, x is equal to b here okay means uh, if you integrate like this this gives us this gives us area below the curve y is equal to f of x above the x axis and in between the lines x is equal to a and uh, x is equal to b where x is equal to a is uh, taken as lower limit of the integral x is equal to b that b will be taken as a uh, upper limit of the integral this is the single formula with this itself whole chapter runs here okay once again i am telling you area under the curve a is equal to y into dx integration of y into dx from a to do a to b if you do this what it gives us it gives us area below the curve y is equal to f of x which curve is considered here that curve y is equal to f of x above the x axis and in between the lines x is equal to a and x is equal to b this is the concept it gives us okay now 
area can be uh, find out in two ways one way is finding the one way is considering the vertical strips another one way is considering the horizontal strips this is the concept of finding the area using the vertical strips see vertical strips dx area is divided into n parts like this now let me explain the finding the area under a simple curves by considering horizontal strips See, we have a two dimensional plane like this, where this is y axis and this is a x axis. We have a curve like this, we have a curve like this and uh, if this curve is like something any type uh, in terms of x and y, this will be expressed as x is equal to z of y, x is equal to in terms of y it will be expressed. Suppose there is a line like x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0, then here it will be written as x is equal to minus 2 minus y, that is x is equal to z of y. Function is expressed as x is equal to a function in terms of y. So, in general, we will write it as x is equal to z of y. And now, here we want to find out the area from the line y is equal to a to y is equal to b. What is this y is equal to a and y is equal to b? y is equal to a is a line parallel to the x axis, y is equal to a is a line parallel to the x axis or perpendicular to the y axis and it is passing through the point 0 comma a, passing through the point 0 comma a. So, that line equation will be written as y is equal to a. And what is y is equal to b? y is equal to b is a line parallel to the x axis or perpendicular to y axis and passing through the point 0 comma b here. Line will be parallel to x axis. So, that will be taken as a y is equal to b. Now, here we want to find out this area means area bounded by the area bounded by the curve x is equal to z of y, uh, y axis and the lines y is equal to a and uh, y is equal to b. What is the formula? Formula will be area a is equal to integration of, here again I will tell you, here you see we have vertical, sorry horizontal strips here, we have horizontal strips, horizontal strips so y axis there is there in the sense we will consider dy dy very small length it is small length dy and what about this horizontal length horizontal length will be x so here area of that small strip will be x into dy that will be x into dy and now here we are we have to integrate from the y equal to a to y is equal to b to get the whole area means area bounded by the curve x is equal to z of y, y axis and the lines y is equal to a and y is equal to b, where y is equal to a, a will be taken as lower limit of the integral and y is equal to b, b will be taken as a upper limit of the integral. So, area is equal to integration of x with respect to y from a to b it gives us area bounded by x is equal to g of y curve, y axis and the lines y is equal to a and y is equal to b. This is the concept that is finding the area using horizontal strips and uh, previous case uh, finding the area using vertical strips. These are the concepts. With this itself we can solve the we can solve all the problems of the chapter application of integrals. Okay. Now, 
let us take the examples here example 1 let me erase this example 1 is example 1 is find the area enclosed find the area enclosed by the circle find the area enclosed by the circle by the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square x square plus y square is equal to a square see in the previous year uh, we have studied what is the circle so x square plus y square is equal to r square that was a special case of circle with center 0 comma 0 and radius r in place of radius r what we have here we can compare this with the x square plus y square is equal to r square then what is the radius of this circle radius r is equal to a okay what about its center? Its center will be origin that is 0, 0. Now, two dimensional plane I am writing. Graph is necessary here. Graph is important. We need to draw it. Center is 0, 0. Here is the center of the circle. And the radius is A unit. A unit in the sense we can draw on uh, enough length. So, here I will draw a circle with radius r is equal to a means I am drawing a circle like this with r is equal to a. So what is this length? This length will be a. This length will be a. If this length is a, what about this point? This point will be on the x-axis and at a distance of a units from the uh, origin or a units from the y axis this will be taken as a a comma 0 if this point is a comma 0 what is the line parallel to the y axis line parallel to y axis will be x is equal to a and what about this line this is the y axis equation of y axis is a, x is equal to 0 here uh, to find out this area total area enclosed is equal to area enclosed a a is equal to integration of here you can if you want you can consider horizontal strips better to go with the vertical strips because in the NCRT books many of the problems are solved with respect to the vertical strips only so what I do here this whole area I have to find out but whole area no need to find out directly here what we do see if you consider the quadrants, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant, this circle is symmetric with respect to the y axis and symmetric with respect to the x axis. So what we do, we will find out only this area. We will find out only the area in the first quadrant, then we will take 4 times, that is all. So area is equal to 4 times, area under which curve? under which curve under this circle so this is the equation of a x square plus y square is equal to a square where i told you when vertical strips is considered it is like y into dx so this is y into dx from where to where i have to find out from the line x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a where x is equal to 0 will be taken as a lower limit of the integral x is equal to a will be taken as a upper limit of the integral and we can tell me the answer also directly answer is area of the circle pi r square in place of r a is there here so we should get the answer pi a square here that's all answer is pi a square that one we should get let us check we will get that area or not yes four times we are taking because area is symmetric with respect to the x axis and y axis and now here, here you see 
I have to express this curve as a y is equal to f of x means y is equal to a function in terms of x I have to write for that x square plus y square is equal to a square take this x square to the right side y square is equal to a square minus x square then what is y is equal to taking square root on both side we have y is equal to square root of a square minus x square see y is y is equal to f of x it is the curve then we are integrating with respect to x means we are considering vertical strips here dx will come from which line area is getting start x is equal to 0 and from at which line area is getting end at the point x is equal to a uh, now here it is 4 times integrating from 0 to a what is y y is square root of a square minus x square right square root of a square minus x square into dx now it is a direct result we have studied in the integrals that is integration of square root of a square minus x square as same uh, notations are used here again i am not writing that formula outside so integration of square root of a square minus x square is nothing but x by 2 into whatever is there x by 2 into whatever is there plus a square so plus a square by 2 into if that is there in the denominator 1 by square root of a square minus x square is there its integral will be sin inverse of x by a so write it sin inverse of x by a 0 to a we need to write okay now substituting the upper limit it is 4 times substituting the upper limit a this is a by 2 into square root of a square minus a square a square minus a square will be 0 0 into a by 2 is 0 now plus of a square by 2 into sin inverse of a. here what happens x is a means we are substituting the upper limit here a by a a by a is a 1 so sin inverse of 1 minus of minus of substituting the lower limit substituting the lower limit 0 by 2 into anything is 0 plus a square by 2 into what happens here sin inverse of 0 sin inverse of 0 is again 0 yes we have here this is 4 times 4 times 0 plus a square by 2 into sin inverse of 1 sin of which angle gives us 1 90 degree so sin inverse of 1 is 90 degree that is pi by 2 minus of this all becomes 0 this is 4 into pi a square by 2 into 2 4 so 4 4 get cancelled pi into a square square units is the area bounded by the circle see already we know area under a uh, circle formula that is pi r square in place of r a is there we are getting pi a square here also this is correct this is about a first example under the heading area under simple curves now let us take next example same problem we can try with taking horizontal strips also no problem answer should be same we should get pi a square only ok now let us take the next example that is example 2 example 2 is example 2 we are solving find the area enclosed by the ellipse find the area enclosed by the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 see 
uh, i hope you know area of ellipse what is area of ellipse formula area of ellipse formula is pi ab where a is uh, length of semi major axis b is length of a semi minor axis area of ellipse is pi ab as area of circle is pi r square you know in the same way area of a ellipse formula is pi ab i hope you know this and now let us try to get uh, that it is correct or not we will check it x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 let us draw the graph of this here they have not given you uh, whether major axis is along the x axis or y axis let us assume that major axis is along the x axis so shape of the ellipse will be like this shape of the ellipse will be like this okay now what about this length this is origin this length is what this length is a units major semi major axis length then this point will be this point will be a comma 0 then what is the line parallel to the y axis and passing through the point a comma 0 that is x is equal to a then equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 here also same way what we did in case of uh, circle I am considering vertical strips here also that dx will come dx will come so area is equal to area under the parabola sorry area under the ellipse a is equal to y into dx y into dx vertical strips if you consider dx will come y into dx horizontal strips we consider that is x into dy simple which which under which curve under this ellipse that is y is equal to i have to write here what is there x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 is there let us separate for that y say i am going to separate that x square by a square plus y square by b square which is equal to 1 is there now here what you do y square by b square you keep it on the left hand side take this x square by a square to the right hand side this is 1 by uh, sorry 1 minus of x square minus a square now this is y square by b square is equal to y square by b square is equal to cross multiplying a square minus x square divided by a square this can be written as y square is equal to b square by a square into a square minus x square now taking square root on both side y is equal to square root of y square it become y square root of b square by a square it become b by a so we have b by a into square root of a square minus x square see y equal to f of x i told you know here y is equal to this is b by a into square root of a square minus x square this is the curve y is equal to now here we have area is equal to we are finding the area only which is bounded in the only first quadrant that means uh, symmetric area is there so let us take uh, four times now from which line to which line we are integrating from the line x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a so lower limit will be 0 upper limit will be a then area is equal to four times uh, integrating from 0 to a what is y y is equal to b by a into square root of a square minus x square b by a is a constant multiple you write it outside 4 into b by a into square root of a square minus x square into dx this 4b by a will be outside now what is the integration of square root of a square minus x square it is a standard result we have studied in integrals this will be x by 2 into square root of whatever is there x by 2 into square root of a square minus x square plus a square is there plus a square by 2 into suppose this term is there in the denominator what is its integral its integral will be sin inverse of x by a yes this is sin inverse of x by a now you write the upper limit and lower limit it is from 0 to a okay next this is 4 into b by a substituting the upper limit first a by 2 into square root of a square minus a square a square minus a square is a 0 yes 0 plus 
ए स्क्वायर बै टू इंटू सैन इनवर्स आफ एक्स बै ए मीन इट ईज ए बै ए मैनस आफ सब्यूटिंग दि लोअर लिमिट दिस इज अपर लिमिट सब्सट्यूशन लोअर लिमिट सब्सट्यूशन सब्सट्यूटिंग दि जीरो जीरो बै टू इंटू एनीथिंग इज जीरो प्लस ए स्क्वायर बै टू इंटू सैन इनवर्स आफ एक्स इज जीरो सैन इनवर्स आफ जीरो इट इज ओके ना वी हव फोर बी बै ए इंटू दिस इज जीरो ए स्क्वायर बै टू इंटू सैन इनवर्स आफ ए गेट कैंसल सैन इनवर्स आफ वन वाट इज सैन इनवर्स आफ वन सैन नई डिग्री इज वन सो सैन इनवर्स आफ वन इज नई डिग्री दट इज पै बै टू इन रेडियन हिर् वि रईट पै बै टू मैनस आफ ए स्क्वायर बै टू इंटू सैन इनवर्स आफ जीरो इज वाट सैन इनवर्स आफ जीरो इज जीरो सो इट इज मैनस जीरो वी हव फोर बी बै ए इंटू पै ए स्क्वायर डिवेड बै टू इंटू टू इज फोर सो फोर फोर गेट कैंसल वन टाइम ए आलो गेट कैंसल बी इंटू पै एज दर् दिस इज नथिंग बट पै ए बी सो एरिया इज पै ए बी स्क्वायर एनिट्स वी गाट दट करेक्टली दिस इज हव एरिया अंड आर् सिंपल करे वि टेक् रिमेनिंग प्रॉब्लम्स इन दी नेक्स्ट क्लास थैंक यू